Hello, it's Sarah. I'm working on a mixed media mosaic, but it is different than I've done before because I want to make, <clears throat> based on like Lori Micah's work, these little icons or shrines or, oops, <laughs> something like this. So this is Pinterest. Wait a minute. And so see like something like this one, but I'm going to be using a mold for the face. Um, but I love the way she's been able to do different patterns and colors on the dresses. So I have to figure this out. Now I've not taken a class on this so I'm just winging it trying to figure it out and I've been playing around for the last couple days like this one. This is the one that's stuck in my head. Um, it's kind of, she has like a, um, a sh I don't know what it's called, like a shroud? I don't know. Like a head covering and I like that idea because mine is kind of um, I wanted to do it breast cancer awareness um, based on, um, you know, women lose their hair. I don't know. It just came into play because this little mold is bald. <laughs> I'm going to be using a mold. So let me show you. Basically, I'm going with this size. I did this one. It's in a little bit more of a, um, a yellow, which I could still use and de depending on if this turns out. This is... I found some uh, flesh tone, although I don't know what it's called because it doesn't, it's rubbed off. And I have a bunch of pinks, gold, silver, black, and white. Actually, this is not silver. It is called white gold glitter. But I think that's what I'm going to use for her head covering. I've already, because yesterday I've been playing for a couple days and I've filmed but I haven't kept any of it because it's just been so confusing. So I'm trying to, I think I know where I'm going. So I figured I'd turn the camera on again. So this mold is by Polyform Products. I'm going to use the middle size. These are, these are more, look more like a moon or a sun. I'll show you, sorry, like this is what this mold looks like and I want it to look more like a face and I like the closed eyes because I do have another mold but I'm gonna use this one and I've been um, conditioning this clay this kind of flesh tone clay but I am gonna color her with mica powder so first thing I want to do I'm gonna move this out of the way is sorry uh, <clears throat> spritz it with a little water just to make sure it comes out of the mold. And this is probably way too much clay, but I'm just gonna push it in there. And then I'm gonna cut off the extra, and maybe I'll do it again because um, it's easier for me. I don't do so good when I'm cutting the extra. This is Primo, Sculpey Primo. And when I cut it, because it's stiffer, but when I cut it, it, um, my <laughs> see I've I've now I've moved the see like you get so I'm gonna just take off this and this should be plenty now I'm gonna do it again and this time I'll just be able to push it fully into the mold and it should be perfect hopefully so the other thing I want to do too is create a base because Unlike like this one I have on my desk, I want I want each piece to have a base that's uh, that has edges that I can create the mosaic with instead of just doing it a wing separate. I want it stacked onto something. So I don't know if that was a good description, but anywho, all right. So now I'm going to press this into this mold and hope for the best. I don't want to move it too much because I want the features to be all right. 
if you move it, you'll get double lines. So let's just gently All right, I like it. Hopefully it'll pop right out. And it did. I think she's a keeper. There's a little mark on this side that I don't love. All right, you can't see that, but put her aside. And the next thing I want to do is create a base. And I think I'm going to use this um, Primo. This is called magenta pearl and I'm going to texturize it with probably just a pretty basic I have these texture plate or texture what are they called it's like a stamp but it's not on a backing I'm going to use tooled leather let me let me just put this through the pasta machine I use a pasta machine a lot to um, condition the clay it's just quicker I'm not patient so I need to see there we go now it's soft and I think I'm just gonna roll it out to like a, a middle like see if you look at this one I need to create a base that's about like that wide so that it's not flimsy and then I can have somewhere to put her head so I think I'm going to start with about like a seven. On my pasta machine, I think I'm going to go, I love this color, OMG, it's so pretty, wow. So yeah, so that's not real thick, I'm just going to move this over to another, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay this across and then use my, um, acrylic roller gently give it pressure I hope I got it yay I mean it's not as deep there but look at that all right that's good enough because we're putting a head on top of it so then I want to loosen it up from the tile I just have a this is basically a 12 by 12 tile I think just from Home Depot or something I got a cheap tile so this is a little flimsy. I'm not sure I wanna, I might want it a little thicker than this. When it's baked, it'll be, um, I think I am gonna go a little thicker. I love it on there. And then I think I'm gonna make the shroud or whatever it's called with silver. Um, and that's the tricky part and that's why I haven't <laughs> uploaded a video because I keep <sighs> struggling with that part but I'm gonna go back in with this and make it a little thicker so I'm gonna uh, it's a, like a number five so evidently my mine gets thicker see now it's a five I like that much better um, the lower the number the thicker the clay on mine and I mean not all pasta machines are the same so let's do it again. Just put some texture. I'm trying to put even pressure, but you know, nobody's perfect. OMG. Just so gorgeous. All right. Take it off there. And I'm gonna just leave that for a minute because actually I can straighten it up. Am I in the shot? Yeah. Um, this is so pretty. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm on two cups of coffee. Sorry. It was a little cool this morning. <laughs> um, so that looks good. All right, so here's how, I'm gonna grab this one since it's already done. So basically she'll be sitting on there with like a shroud around her, uh, framing her head. There's a little something in here. I'm gonna put mica powders on this too. Um, so I'm just gonna set that aside because here's the thing. I could maybe, this is what I have to figure out. 
it could look cool if I just put it like this and cut out it like that and then maybe take like um, what do I have I have a, a basket of stuff here hold on like say I used a piece of ball chain which I'll have to find I have so much randomness everywhere too that's another thing when you're creating you I need to have a little bit of structure or it, or it doesn't work out so yeah I, I don't have a piece of ball chain maybe there's a piece in here I have lots of crystals I think I do have a piece in here hold on sorry because this is what I'm thinking I might just put ball chain around like that instead of and you know what then I could have like I wish I had a you know what I might have I might do it like that I'm thinking I'll do it like that instead of or and I might not use ball chain I might use some other ornate like I have all these different <clears throat> types of filigrees and metal bits and pieces but or you could just put bling or something so I am going to decide on that later because I can always glue that in after oh because you know what I have little bits and pieces of this but I just don't know where it is at the moment because um, I think I do know where it is okay I'll go off camera and get that in a little bit all right but for right now I think this is what I'm gonna do I have to pick a crown let's pick a crown this is a super cool crown but it's way too big for this piece I don't like it I don't like it with this piece that's that's just my preference um, so I have this one is the next biggest but I kind of liked this one with hearts there was one uh, I'll find it again I'm doing it as a um, breast cancer aware and here it is I like this one and I think if I put that on silver uh, it's not really showing up that great it's not a high polish like I like this polish better of this <coughs> of the metal maybe I could just put some rub and buff on it you know but I kind of like this crown and I feel like it's the best size for her too seems like it would sit right on top of her head I actually really like it as just a right on top of her head anyway all right so first let's finish this and, and I'm gonna use mica powders and all that stuff um, How big do I want to make it? Oh, I was going to get uh, cookie cutters and show you. All right, sorry about that. So, <clears throat> I'm going to attempt I'm going to go for it. I'm just cutting this using a star just to give it a little bit of different shape I'm making a video babe and I don't know if I'm gonna like it but I just wanted to try it I think I like it I think it looks cool And I just used um, one of my texture sheets. It's just called dots. But I like that. That looks cool. I mean, it's a little something, right? I don't know if it's perfect. I can be. I can be a perfectionist. I didn't. I don't like to call myself a perfectionist, but I can tend to be a perfectionist at times. I do see. I do see that in myself. I'm gonna put it up a little. So 
All right. I think I'm sticking with that. Gosh, I, I'm so all over the place. All right, but I really like that. That looks like, oh, you're not even in the shot. <laughs> Sorry. I like it. It looks kind of Egyptian. All right, and then I need to create a square to put it on. First, let me move this over. And I'm going to bake it as one piece. So I can always trim it more. It's a little crooked. I like it straight. Isn't that color gorgeous? All right, let's see how it's going to look on there. I think it's going to look amazing. So, when I bake it, just consider that it is twice the, the thickness, right? I don't think I'm going to need all that. Now, if I wanted to, maybe I'll go wider. I think I'm going to do this. And it's just personal preference. It has nothing to do with anything. It's just my own muse is telling me to do this, right? But I want that to be even with the bottom. And I still may cut off a little bit. And I'm just going to center her. So it's really kind of triple thick right now, right? And I'm pressing. Now I'm going to press and make sure everything's adhered. This is my favorite one so far. I'm glad I ended up doing it on camera <laughs> because I think this side is a little bigger. I'm going to cut that off. And I'll probably trim it. Uh, no, I think it's good. This side looks a little bigger. So now it's all one piece. I just want to trim it a tiny bit on that side. So now comes the fun part. And like I said, I may end up tacking on. I think I'm going to put this on a smaller tile so that I can maneuver it. It's just easier for me to be able to move it around. I'm going to put this here. Um, let's add some. Okay. So for her face, I'm going to use mica powders, and I'm just going to start to create some shading like this, okay? Now, I used, I used a very dark copper for her face, so I'm going to kind of go a little lighter. Like, I think I used this one, which is just called Copper by the, by the uh, Pearl X, but I think I'm going to take it down to, I think this one's the Ranger Copper. Or maybe it's a bronze, but I don't want it to be that dark is my point. I'm just going to take it down, and then I can always add the darker. Oh, geez. It looks like I spilled it. So she's got dark already. Damn it. Maybe I can get it off. Yeah, I can. All right. We'll figure it out. I'm going to put a little bit of gold. Actually, let me just go white. I'm going to start with the lightest colors first. Put white on her forehead, on her nose, so down the bridge. Right, so that's it for the daily. Okay, honey. Thanks, Mom. <clears throat> Chin. And, hmm, I think that just the middle of her eye lid. So how's that looking? All right. <clears throat> then I'm going to do what color lids should I give her I'm just going to go with gold this is just a very light gold I have a color called see I get I get excited with all these colors that they have this is antique gold but I have like a pink gold here it is nope this one 
This is called Pink Gold. I'm gonna try this one. Oops. Some people say that you should wear a mask when you work with mica powders, but I don't use them often enough, so I can't speak to that. But I'm just gonna give her a little eyelid with this pink gold. And I'm going to go in with uh, the pink. Actually, I'm going to use the light pink, the Perfect Pearls pink, for her cheeks. I'm going to start light, and I can always add darker. But I'm just going to add it right at her cheekbone there. No thanks, babe. I'm gonna put, I'll put the darker on her lips. I have this flamingo pink. Wait, this is not it, that's blue russet. This is it, flamingo pink. So the colors are a bit different that you get with the Pearl X compared to the Pearl Perfect Pearls. And you can get these at um, craft stores. Um, actually, both of them are available at craft stores. See, so she's starting to get a little bit of um, dimension. So it's already dimensional because it is three layers of clay. But I just wanted her to look pretty too. Why not? Why can't she look pretty? Oh, it's moving. No, it didn't move. So I do want that to be... I'm just pressing around the edges. I really want it to be adhered. Okay, um, so what is that? Does that look good? Are her cheeks bright enough? All right, because now, this is the tricky part. I'm gonna come in with the copper. Let me double check and make sure I don't have, this, this is probably, but it's kind of orange. This one is a little more gold. Maybe that's the gold I just used on her. I think I want to, I kind of want to just use this one. If I'm gentle, see, and that's not my MO, but I can try and be gentle. I'm going to try and be gentle with this. Look how dark it is, though, see? So that's why I should probably just go really light. I'm going to, I'm going to, I am, I'm going to try and just use this one. See if I see, I mean, it's much browner. I like this one better. I'm afraid to use the other one. I don't want to mess her up now that I've done all this pretty. So let's just do this one. And where you want to put it is kind of in the dark areas. So up here. And I'm going to wipe a little off because that is looking dark. And kind of pull it under her eye too under her nose and under her lip I'm gonna turn it a little so that I can I don't want a ton but it should probably match the other side so I'm going to put it, I'm going to actually do the darker color around the shroud. I'll show you what I mean. So here's the darker color. So if I was painting, I would be floating, right? Some dark color. 
behind her so she looks well I hope it looks right we'll see I just had that paper towel there because it makes noise. The tiles are noisy. How's that looking? Good? Okay. I think it actually needs it on the pink as well. But let me pop her a little bit better with, um, you know what, it could get it on her skin, on her head. I could probably use my finger, but I'm just going to do it this way. Is she looking good? She's looking super shiny. Let's go back in with um, something to brighten up her eyelids. Not just white. I really like this pink gold. I'm going to try that. Put a little on her forehead too. So here's the first one. I think there's a big difference because um, this clay looks more transparent. This has a little more yellow undertone to it, and I think that looks better. Uh, but, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe I'll pop up. I'll use the darker pink on her cheeks too because I only use that soft pink. Just gently tickle in. Oh boy, she's fancy. All right, so I'm gonna do on the shroud, or no, no, on the base, right here. Just a little shadow underneath. Maybe it should be a different color, but listen, I've been doing this for two days and this is looking like the, the keeper. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling good about this one. All right. So let me take a look. I'm not sure I need, I don't know, I, maybe I could keep it. I don't know, it looks pretty. What do you think? I like it. So let's put some um, really bright gold on. Oopsie. Okay. Then I got to figure out what I'm going to do with my crown. If I want to use the same color for my background. Um, this is a nice color gold. I might just use my finger. When you use your finger, it really, that's a good, I like it. Did the shading go away though? Did I make it go away? I don't think I did. Wow, I like it. I like it. Do I want to put... The 
something's wanting me to darken up around her mouth, but I think it's dark enough. I think there's enough. Ugh. I don't think I went in with the dark, that's why. I don't want to mess it up now, but... I don't know if it made a bit of difference. But I'm liking it. This is a keeper. Alright, that's what that's going to look like. And I could cut off a tiny bit. I'm, I'm leaving it for now. I'll leave it for now because I can always cut it off, well, before I bake it. Alright, so let's set her aside. Now I have to figure out um, the, the crown. And do I want to do the same color... I think I do the same color background now maybe it could be a different um, so if I'm just putting this see I want to use I think it might need to be bigger maybe I should use this one I love I like it it's not proportionate but I kind of like it and the thing is, I can do, because if this is going to go on a board, which, let's bring it into the shop. So this is my substrate. I can make this stick out the top a little bit. And Lori likes to make these um, banner looking things. So let me pick this up. It's always best to use a knife, a blade, when you pick up your tiles. See, I didn't even, oops, kind of cut it there. It'll be fine. Um, if she's right about there, I'm going to, oh look, I really cut off a lot of that clay. Damn. This is way thinner now. I'm going to try and lay that back on here. I did not mean to do that. See how you guys get to see them? <coughs> The mistakes but I think it goes like this and I think I should put it back on there because it will make it thicker so I put it back on I just didn't want it to be okay so right there and then I want to figure this out. So I have, I've already, I'm getting warm. I'm going to take my vest off. Um, I've already used this mold to make my wings. So I don't know, I wish I could tell you, Google it. Um, clay molds. But I made the wings out of white pearl clay. And again, they've been sitting overnight. So I need to use my blade to get them off the tile. And... I think I'm going to put them straight. I'm not positive because I could always mount them and they could go out or whatever, but I think I want them to go straight. So I'm going to mount these on a base as well. And then I'm going to um, use mica powders too. Uh, this one has a line through it. I'm going to use it. Um, to create like shading on the wings as well. Um, but how do I want to make this top piece? Because then we want to make a center. And I've been looking at this piece a lot. I really, really like it. And then make the dress come down. But here's the thing. I was going to use, uh, see and I have these wings too. But I really want to use clay wings. I have other jewelry finding pieces because, you know, you could just put that up there or something. Um, this kind of looks like a collar. Maybe if it goes this way. And then put a heart right there. But I really like this piece, but, I mean, that's not to say I couldn't do that and put a heart. So we're going to continue to build... I think I'll finish the wings with you guys 
I, I could do the crown, but I'm gonna, I don't wanna take too long, so, cause that's just the head. So I could be done and come back and do the head. I mean the wings, all right? That's it. Thanks for watching.